hello everyone welcome to the tutorials on algorithms in the last video i was explaining about uh, coin collection problem and i have explained the problem and basic steps of the problem so let us continue with the same problem okay so in the last video i have explained all these terms and how to calculate all this okay so up to this we have calculated so next again we need to calculate the cells in the same way okay by applying this recurrence relation so for this cell uh, what is the cost of this cell so it is the maximum of the upper cell or maximum of the left cell then cost of this cell so cost of this cell is zero so its value is zero so upper and the left both are zero okay so it is zero now let us calculate the cost of this cell so cost of this cell means we have to take the upper cell or the left cell maximum out of this so maximum out of this upper cell and uh, the left cell that is 0 comma 0 plus cost of current cell since coin is there the cost of current cell is 1 so it is 0 plus 1 that's equal to 1 so the cost of this cell is 1 so i'm overwriting this okay next like this we have to calculate the cost for all the cells okay by applying the recurrence relation which i have already told so once we calculate the cost of this all cells you can see here so this is what we get at last okay so we get the last value you can see here this is phi so you can see the uh, lower right corner uh, right cell that is the value is phi so that phi indicates that means maximum we have collected phi coins so phi indicates that maximum collected coin that is phi so maximum collected coin is nothing but phi so this last value in the last row last column this value indicates that how many coins we collected in maximum so in maximum we have collected five coins okay now let us see how we had collected this five coins okay by which method okay let us backtrace this problem and let us see in by using which path we have collected uh, this five coins okay right so you can see here so here i have taken two tables to represent or to uh, check this backtracing so let us backtrace from the last cell so here phi is there so you know that where this phi comes from either it comes from the left cell or it comes from the uh, upper cell so you can see here uh, upper cell its value is phi so i it it means that uh, since there is no coin here so you can see the problem so you can see here there is no coin so if coin is there then it will be plus one plus one will be added but since coin is not there here that means plus one will not be added so as it is the value will be placed so that means as it is value where as it is value is there upper cell in upper cell as it is value because this value is phi and this as it is value is there in upper cell that means uh, it came from this cell so the direction you can see here this is the direction in which it flows now phi is there so how we got phi either we got it from the left cell or top cell or upper cell so now you can see here left cell its value is 3 even though we had one coin consider we had one coin it becomes 3 plus 1 that is 4 but since the value is phi so that may came from the upper cell because in upper cell we had 4 so 4 plus 1 becomes phi okay so that means this is the direction in which it came so now we are there in four where this four came from either it came from left cell or it came from upper cell so if you go to upper cell its value is two so two plus one becomes three so it is four here that means it came from the left cell that is this one so this is the flow or this is the path next you can see i have already uh, directed the path by using arrow next this three is there so where this uh, this three came from this three came from either uh, in the from the top or from the left now since no coin is there here you can see here uh, this is the uh, uh, fifth column and third row so if you can go through your problem statement in fifth column third row nothing is there if coin is there plus one will be added since coin is not there so that means it is zero that means that means as it is value is added added as it is value is taken so where as it is value is there if it is 3 as it is value is here so that means this 3 came from the left cell so this is the direction okay so direction is already shown next since 3 is there now i am here so now this where this 3 came from 
either it came from left or from top so one is there so one plus one becomes two so that means it is not correct so it came from the upper cell that is this one so this is the flow next where this two came from so either it came from upper or left since this is zero zero plus one is one not correct so it may be one plus one that is it came from this one so next where did this one came from either it came from upper or it came from the left since in this uh, place or in this cell uh, that is uh, 2 comma 3 so you can see 2 comma 3 there is no uh, 2 comma 3 you can see here there is no coin so there is no coin that's why as it is value is pasted so where as it is value is there so 2 comma 3 no coin is there so where sorry I'm, I was here so 2 comma 3 no, as it is value so where as it is value is there so as it is the value is there in this cell okay so that means it came from this one so next this one this one came from which cell either it came from up or it came from uh, left so both values are there same that is 0 or 0 either you can see uh, take this one or this one so uh, either one of them will be correct okay so either you can choose this one also this one also is correct or this one so i have collect i have uh, taken this one as my reference now where this zero came from zero came from the first initial cell where our uh, this robot has started so this is the path from which we collected the coin so this from this this here here then here then here like this so at last from this we collected the path so that means so this this is the path that we have followed to collect five coins so if you go to your program initial stage you can see which path we have followed so we have followed this path so this is the first coin collected second third fourth then fifth okay so these are the five coins first coin second coin third one fourth one and fifth one so this was the last value as five okay so these are the maximum coins that we can collect from this uh, board so now let us go with the the algorithm of this coin collection so you can see here the initial input for this is the coins the board that is the coin from uh, 0 to n indicates uh, uh, row wise and uh, 0 to m indicates column wise we will place the uh, coins in a board so the dimension of the board is n cross n n rows m columns so i varies from 0 to n already we know and uh, we know that uh, f of i comma 0 that is uh, the first co column you can see here the first column all the values are 0 and similarly first row all the values are 0 so it is uh, f of i comma 0 is equal to 0 and similarly f of 0 comma j is also equal to 0 okay according to initial uh, status of the board next so so similarly we calculated for the column also next if for i varies from 1 to n and similarly j varies from 1 to m and we have written the same recurrence relation so which calculates the cost of each cell okay according to the coin it will calculate the cost of each cell and it will be stored in f of ij and at last we are we are returning that f of ij i is nothing but uh, row and j is nothing but column the maximum uh, row will be n and maximum column will be m so that i am returning so now this is the algorithm and uh, what is the time complexity of this algorithm directly we can calculate so this uh, for loop it varies from 0 to n that means up to n it will vary and this for loop it varies from m up to m it will vary and similarly here also it varies up to n and it varies up to m so that indicates you can see here it indicates that uh, the time complexity is of the order m cross n okay the time complexity is of the order n you can say it is m cross n or n cross m both are same okay so this is the time complexity because here two for loops are there one for loop varies from 0 to n and second for loop varies from 0 to m and similarly here also we have two for loops one varies from 0 to uh, sorry 1 to n and second varies from 1 to m okay so up uh, this is the time complexity of the given algorithm i hope uh, you have uh, understood uh, this problem coin collection problem and uh, understood this algorithms also so thank you